Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place Persona 4 Arena. Today we're going to start Yosuke's story. Oh, I'm so tired. Welcome to retail. What a busy day. Again, welcome to retail. Golden week, huh? The holidays fell on pretty good dates this year. Actually, working retail in on a holiday is actually the worst. <laughs> Juness will be open for business during Golden Week 2. Come for our exciting Golden Week events. Stay for the low, low prices. Uh, <laughs> then again, it's my fault for taking this shift. Yeah. I can yap all I want, but the only reply I'm going to get is my own e echo. I begin to feel lonesome, so I start mo uh, mopping faster. <sighs> Such is the life for Yosuke Hanamura, a high schooler working at Junez, Inaba's only shopping center. I get a lot of crap thrown in my direction because I'm the manager's son, but thanks to dealing with all that stuff, my skills are, have improved and now I'm sometime, I am sometimes act as a supervisor. Really? Good job, Yosuke. Today's just another day on the job. This city, Yashu Inaba, Inaba City, is a rural country, country town that doesn't have anything more than rivers and mountains. At least it's got a train running through it, but it isn't useful for commuting to the big city, and Inaba's not pretty enough to get sightseer, uh, sightseers. It's a dead spot. Way to sell it, Yosuke. Really? Just, just coming to Junas to shop is a, pa <laughs> is a pastime to the people in this town? Our store carries more than food and daily commodities, and there are specialty there and there's there are specialty stores. There's a food court and a playground on the roof too. We even hold events sometimes too. All that stuff makes for a really busy weekend. When there's an extended holiday, you start to see cars with out of town license plates in the parking lot, and now it's Golden Week. Uh, this is the busiest this place is gonna get all year. However, <laughs> well, I'm taking tomorrow off. Yeah, that's right, I'm free. Normally, this definitely wouldn't be the time to take be taking a day off. I saw the look on my dad's face when I turned in my time off request, but I didn't care. I absolutely can't miss tomorrow. Because... My partner's gonna be back. Look, you take a day off whenever you can, alright? The, the saying is, there's never a good day to take a day off, so just do it, alright? It doesn't matter. The, wherever you work will be fine without you. Now, if you have like a tardiness issue thing where, you know, you're always out, that's a problem, but that's up for you to handle. But if you're working like nonstop every year and you don't take a day off, try to change that for your own health. And by partner, I mean the guy you transferred in from the city last year, you Nakam uh, Nurikami. I almost called him Nakamura. <laughs> There's a reason I call him my partner and not just my friend. See, he and I solved the case that happened last year in this tiny little town. I mean, it was more than just the two of you, but alright. And it wasn't some dingy-ass problem like finding a lost cat or anything like that. That is important, Yosuke! <laughs> I hate that teacher so much. This was a big series of murders. And on top of that, these weren't just your any ordinary murders. The crimes took place in a world inside the TV. There were these monsters called shadows living there. You and I somehow got these power to uh, got this power to defeat them called personas, and from that point on, we started fighting and investigating. Luckily, we came across allies who also had the same ability, but even then, every day was a fight for survival. Together, we overcame danger after danger. With comrades like these, the word word friend just doesn't cut it anymore. And that goes double for you. I'm indebted to him, and I trust him with all my heart. So, partner feels more natural than best friend. Unfortunately, my partner has to return to the city after the end of the school year, but we promised to meet up again during Golden Week. That was two months ago. It seemed like an eternity. I couldn't wait. But he'll be back tomorrow. I've only been working so hard lately so I could take Golden Week off. I'm so pumped about tomorrow that I just can't relax. All right. Time to go home and get ready for tomorrow. Let's go, Teddy. Teddy's this, uh, hmm, he's, um, hmm, he's like an animal suit thingy that we met last year inside the TV. He's a feather-brained as they come, but you just can't bring yourself to hate him. I ended up being the one taking care of him. I took advantage of his appearance, and now he works as a custom, uh, costume attendant, costume attention grab grabber for Junez. He's supposed to be on the same shift as me. Teddy! Hello? 
Where is that guy? I think he's in a locker somewhere. That's weird. He usually comes running in, ready to leave work. I asked the cleaning ladies, but no one's seen him since lunch. This is getting strange. He looks laid back, but he is a responsible worker, so I doubt he's slacking off. Is this him? Oh, it's Chie. Way to sound disappointed, Yosuke. Yo, Chie, what's up? Oh, I'm glad you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? Chie, Chie, uh, uh, Sadunaka. I still have such a hard time with their last names. She's a fellow classmate at y Yasogami High School. She's another of the comrades that fought with us last year. Those of us who needed, uh, who used Personas formed an investigation team and went about solving the case. We did it because we were the only ones who could find the killer and stop the murders. You was our leader, just as you so, just so you know. <laughs> just breaking the fourth wall there, huh? GA was in charge of brainstorming, I guess. Oh, and steak. I mean, not that she was our leading expert on steak, but she just liked it a lot. She can't wait for Yu's return either. Is she calling about tomorrow? She probably just forgot where we're meeting up. I decided to mess with her a little bit. Yeah, I just got off work. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted it without reading it, didn't you? I didn't delete it! Ha! <laughs> ah, she's so defensive. I didn't even send her an email. Hilarious. Anyways, she suddenly gets serious. Anyway, I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? The Midnight Channel? That takes me by, by surprise. The Midnight Channel? That's That was an urban legend that became popular last year. If you stare into a blank TV at midnight while it's raining, you'll see, a, you'll see your true love. Sounds sketchy, I know, but it was true. Well, uh, no, it wasn't. I mean, you didn't see your true love, yeah, exactly, or anything, but it did show somebody on the t TV. Long story short, whoever was, on the, whoever was shown on it was the next victim in the series of murders last year. But it turned out that there was some crazy guy doing the actual dirty work. In the end, we showed him and put uh, showed him and put him put the urban legend to rest, or at least so I thought. There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? Oh, she probably did. I can see it now, Chie grabbing the poor kid by the collar, scaring her out of her wits. She'd do it too. She doesn't stop when she gets an idea into her head. No, I was completely normal. At least I think I was. You put her in a headlock, didn't you? So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. Fighting show? That's nothing I'd like to. Uh, that's nothing like what was being shown in, on the Midnight Channel last year. Maybe she was just mishearing the other students talking about some normal sports program? No, wait. I think I overheard some customers talking about that today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They were talking about the Midnight Channel. And hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check Convenient. it out? Convenient. Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm, then you owe me steak if it's true. Oh, Yosuke. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. You can get that doll store steak, aren't you? I was trying to lighten the mood, but things didn't really turn out that way. I'm sure my partner would have done a better job at it. He'd say, don't worry, I'm here, or something. Actually, he'd probably flirt with her. Still. My channel, huh? True, that guy is a disaster magnet. Who, you? Yeah, absolutely. All the protagonists in Persona games are disaster magnets. Come to think of it, the incident last year started the moment you came to Inaba. If this new Midnight Channel rumor is true, I'm going to start calling him the Mystery Maker. <laughs> that is, if it actually shows anything. Honestly, I'm around 90% sure nothing's going to happen. There's no way anything's going to, going to show oh, up. Yeah, I should call Kanji too, just in case. Kanji was another member of the investigation team. He's a year younger than the rest of us, though he looks like he's in his 20s. Because of his look and the way he speaks, people get the impression that he's a violent hoodlum. Poor guy. He's naturally a hardworking, honest, uh, honest guy. He's actually, not naturally, but naturally, I'm sure, is also accurate to him. He's not the type to screw around at night, and I'm sure he'd be eager to answer a call from an upperclassman like me. Huh. 
It's not picking up. Maybe he's too busy knitting or something? Despite appearances, Kanji was a surprising knack, has a surprising knack for delicate needlework. And he's no slouch either. His work's as good as people who make the lot of make a lot of money selling this stuff. Up until last year, he kept that hidden because it doesn't mess uh, mesh with his image, but a lot of stuff happened and now he's not so hung up on it. He now sells his handmade uh, knitted dolls at his family shop, uh, Tetsumi Textiles. There's actually pretty, they're actually pretty popular, and lately he's been carrying yarn and knitting, <laughs> knitting needles with him all the time. Ugh, come on, answer already. Guess I'll try his home phone too. Tatsumi Textiles should be closed now, but uh, so I shouldn't have a problem getting through. And to back up my theory, Kanji Mom picks it up right away. Hello, this is the Tatsumi residence. I, for some reason, thought you were just about to say this is Kanji's mom. Oh, I'm sorry to call at such a late hour. Uh, this is Yosuke. Um, is Kanji-kun there? Oh, hello, Yosuke-kun. As for Kanji... Huh? D did something happen? I can't find him. You can't? I thought he was sleeping in the living room, but he wasn't there when I checked in on him. I thought he might be with you. Oh, yes, we're going to have an all-night study group, and I bet I just missed him. I'll wait up for him here. <laughs> okay, then. Good job Good lying, Yosuke. I don't know why you lied, but all right. Oh, man, I totally panicked there and came up with some lame BS. Kanji's not there. He left without a word? Without a trace? I suddenly thought of Teddy, too. No one's seen him since this morning, either. He didn't tell me anything about, the, about where he'd be. Hold on, could this be? Uh, why am I freaking out so much? This is Kanji we're talking about. So what if I can't get a hold of him? I'm sure he's fine. Now, Teddy, on the other hand, I try to reassure myself that everything's okay, but my anxiety doesn't go away. First they disappear, and then this new midnight channel. Give me a break, man. Nice posters, Yosuke. Oh, damn it. This is the first time I think we've seen your room. Oh, is that Teddy's Alice outfit? You oh, you make Teddy sleep in the closet, that is... Oh, kind of symbolic, I guess. I figured Teddy isn't home yet. I grabbed some food and headed into my room. It's been a while since I had to wait for midnight to sh uh, watch the Midnight Channel. The wait is always so long. I can't do anything but keep looking at the TV. It's a lot better TV than used, that's for sure. So I start fiddling with the remote. This is I News, and here are our Actually, it kind of looks like my last TV. We begin with a hijacking of a domestic flight to Kagoshima yesterday morning. Police began their interrogation of the suspects today. Man, things are crazy all over the country today. Yeah. Last year, Enema was all over the news. Uh, people I knew were being interviewed left and right. And then again, I didn't have any time to pay attention to any of that stuff until we closed the case. Jumping in and out of the TV all the time really takes it out of you. I'd always hit the sack the instant I came home. I ought to be dead tired right now, but what with all the work I've been putting in at Junez. But I'm so impatient that I'm really annoyed that anything else... I'm really more annoyed than anything else right now. I stare at the clock and stare and stare. Damn it, move, you stupid minute hand! My cell phone rings again. It's Yukiko this time. Yukiko Amagi, another member of the investigation team, and best friend with Chie. Her perfect poise makes her the center of every guy's attention, but she's definitely not what I consider ladylike. What? How can I put it? She's the biggest airhead I know. She's very ladylike, dog. In like the most kind of like definition of the meaning anyways. Sure, she's laid back with her friends, but come on now. I mean, if she if she what if she's what every dude in Japan wants, I think we are all in for some trouble. Ignorance is bliss, and to judge by all the guys who are after her based on just her image, I really think that's true. But you know, I also think that y Yukiko I know is better than the that better than that misplaced ideal. Because her family runs an old high-class hotel, she has pressures that other people can only imagine. But deep down, she's just a normal girl with r real feelings. Like I really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if Yukiko heard me saying this, she'd kill me. Probably ma by making me eat her cooking. Her curry tastes like something they'd have to pass a law to prevent people from ever discovering again. You're not wrong. Um, Yosuke-kun? Good evening, this is Yukiko. I got an email from Chie a moment ago. 
Yeah, she told me to. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Bet she was half asleep when she emailed you. <laughs> I could tell she was worried, so I tried making a joke. Come to think of it, Yukiko never really calls me like this. She must really be worried. I waited for her to reply. What Yukio had to say next took me by surprise. I received a phone call saying that Risei-chan disappeared. Oh, I mean, not literally, but it seems they can't get in contact with her. Really? Risei, another part of the investigation team, she's our junior at Yosugami High School. Her full name is Risei Kui, uh, Kujiwakawa. Yeah, you recognize the name, right? Oh yeah, I played Persona 4, dog. The famous pop idol Risei Kujikawa, or Rizetta, or AKA Rizetta. Last year, she announced she was taking a break and came here to Inaba to leave, live with her grandmother. But she started working again this year, so she's been going in and out of the city with all the stuff she's doing. From what Yukio just told me, her manager couldn't get a hold of her all day and tried looking up the Anmagi Inn to ask uh, Yukio if she has any idea. She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. Yukio voice, Yukio's voice is gloomy. Listening to this makes me restless too. But if you're depressed, you start thinking about more bad things. Going down that road is going to get to Yukiko. What would you do? Shoot, this is the millionth time I've thought that this, thought that today. Anyways, I try to cheer Yukio up. Uh, let's not get carried away. First, we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? This is true. That's actually very true. Mm, you're right. Thank you, Yosuke-kun. I hear the relief in Yukiko's voice when she hangs up. And let out a sigh. A big side that I can never have let Yukio hear in her state. Teddy's nowhere to be found. Kanji's vanished too. And to top it off, now no one can get a hold of Risei. And for that Midnight Channel runner to start up again at the exact same time. It's way too much to be a coincidence. Out of habit, I started going through the contacts in my phone. When I reached the name Yu Narukami, I hesitate. He's not even here yet. I'll only make him worry. As the leader of our investigation team, you had the biggest part in, the, uh, in it all, but he's done with all that now, living a normal life back in the city. He's coming back to enjoy our reunion. I don't want to make him worry. If anything, I should call him after I know something. I open the curtain and look outside. Like Chie said, it was raining. All the conditions for the Midnight Channel to show up have been met. If it's going to, if it's going to, that is. No, can't happen. It's over. I say that out loud, but in my heart, I'm dreading that old show. It was like, I was almost looking forward to it. It's almost midnight. Shocker. Rivals. <laughs> they are friends, yet powerful foes. You know what? We didn't see this in Labrys's. Story, did we? A desperate fighting program amongst high school students. A new legend is about to start. <laughs> Be the manliest of all men. Come on down. Nobody touches his precious. Oh Nanako, man. The sister complex kingpin of steel. You Narukami. It's only natural. How is his height and weight a mystery? By day, hero by night. How is any of their height and weight a mystery? They've gone to doctors before. Everything Except for like, me I guess. Go. Well, no, a she has a lab work. With deadly legs. The carnivore who's discarded womanhood. Did I say leg work or lab work? You need to eat more meat. Please escort me to the ring, my prince. The unconquerable snow black, Yukiko Amagi. I'll finish you in one strike. Blooming roses and bulging muzzles, the blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance, <laughs> the body of a child, the brain that is of so genius, rude. the 2000 <laughs> IQ killjoy detective, Naoto I know she's like 16, but this still. Idiots. Fight and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end. The P1 Grand Prix, where fierce fights will be fought. The battle begins tonight.
Yosuke, you all right, dog? Oh, hi, you. Oh, you're just using that. Okay, yeah. So I'm guessing that shows that for all of their stories, then. What the hell? Seeing yourself on TV is really shocking. Am I really that goofy looking? <laughs> no, that's not it. Why'd they call me Captain Rosanti Ma? Rosanti Ma? I know the word from King Moron's class. What was, what was it again? Something about the weak hating the strong and some kind of jealousy? Dude, I thought... I thought that was like resentment at first. Now, why the hell would I get a lame name like that? Just the sound of it makes me mad. Re Santi Ma. This is too much. This is way too much. Ugh. Now I know why Yukiko and Kanji hated the Midnight Channel so much. Well, I thought I knew all about what happened last year, but this time I'm actually experiencing it. See, everyone who ended up on, as part of the investigation team was on the Midnight Channel at one point. And the Midnight Channel doesn't just show any old you. It shows the weakest part of you, the part you don't want to come out, but made supersize. In other words, fake footage of you, so, so humiliating that you want to crawl under a rock and die, is broadcast all over town. And you and I managed to not have that happen to us. So I guess I never really knew how bad it felt. Up until tonight, that is. Ugh, did everyone in town see this? And is it going to show up again every night it rains? Damn it. How do they manage to go on without skipping town and it's beyond me? Seriously, I gotta give them a mad props for sticking it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Kanji's was kind of like, like, really, like, not in his, like, public image, right? He, he, you know, he accepted it pretty well, though. And Yukiko's was kind of, uh, out there as well. Waiting for, what was his, like, something about, yeah, she had, like, her lacy undergarments on and she was waiting for a Prince Charming or something like that. God, I love Persona 4, actually. Uh, anyways. Seriously, I gotta give them props for sticking out, but, uh, now's not the time for that. Is that Teddy in that weird costume? He was acting like the host. Does that mean he's the one broadcasting the Midnight Channel this time? Could it mean that Kanji and Risei are involved too? Ah, what's going on? Ah, crap. Why was you on there too? And why now? What am I going to tell him? He comes back for the hotel, uh, not hotel, for the holidays, and everyone's going to be all, Oh, look, it's the Sister Complex Kingpin. That's messed up. Yes, it is. Should I tell him not to come? Wait, what can I tell him at all? No, me, I'll accidentally call him that myself. I know I'll at least say his, he has a sister complex. I won't be able to help myself. Shit! As I wrestle with confusion, the sudden sound scares the living crap out of me, and I panic for a second. Get it together, Yosuke. You're a third year. Who could be calling me now? Ah, oh, hell, ah, oh, hell no. Of all people, it had to be you. What should I do? Tell him? Don't tell him? I reflectively hit the answer button before I figured out what to say. Uh, hello, this is Yosuke. Is this the sister complex kingpin? Yosuke? He's suspicious of me. Like, really suspicious. I nervously passed the phone from one hand to the other several times. It's nothing. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? That's not why I was calling. I know how I sounded, but Yu's voice was calm. Wait, is he laughing at me? I saw the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Uh huh? My mind went blank. How do you see it? Isn't it only local? Isn't it only a local thing? Don't tell me it's a nationwide broadcast now. Did Teddy not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. Maybe he sensed how bewildered I was since he explained everything so calmly. I see, so Teddy disappeared before he could tell me you was coming today. I still I'm still trying to piece things together as you continue. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. <laughs> you haven't changed. Oh, I can tell he's a little angry now. I can just see him shaking his head. I bet he can tell why I'm acting so nervous right now. 
Damn, this is embarrassing. So how about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rasantama? Why'd you zero in on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> Mine's not that bad. It's horrible, you! What are you talking about? You think? Jeez, he's so forgiving. That's just like him. Man, I really feel like an asshole right now. I ought to tell you, that program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. When I put it all into words like this, this sounds a lot worse than it had when I was thinking about it. I can hear a hint of tension in Yu's voice. Alright, we should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Jeunesse Food Court. Welcome back, partner. It's good to be here. Talking with you takes me back. Calling him partner was kind of sappy, I guess, but he takes it in stride. I suddenly feel a lot less confused now. He's something. Decisive, confidence, uh, decisiveness, confidence. He's got strength that I don't. My wandering eye happens to stop on my on my desk draw. My career choice application is in there. Well, past its due date. Oh, right. Sorry to say, I forgot to pick up your souvenir. A souvenir? Don't even worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. <laughs> nurses? I have a bad feeling about this. Warning bells go off in my head before I can figure out what's going on. You had sounded so calm because he was trying to hold back laughter at all this time. Yeah, Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. Oh, wait, <laughs> this is all... I didn't know you were into nurses. Ah, 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 shut up! That's enough! <laughs> Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk. But I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I hung up, barely resisting the urge to throw the phone across the room. Okay, don't panic. I need to call Chie and tell her about the plan tomorrow. How am I supposed to look everyone in the uh, face tomorrow? As if, as if it was reading my mind, my phone goes off again. Lo and behold, it's Chie calling. Ugh, anyone can see what's coming next. Hello? What the hell was that carnivore who's discarded womanhood crap? <laughs> <laughs> Chie's raging at the top of her lungs. Ow, you almost blew out my eardrum. I haven't discarded it! I haven't, you hear me? I let her blow off steam for a bit. Once in a while, I have to check to make sure I haven't accidentally turned on the speakerphone. She's that loud. I mean, I know the feeling, but can you please calm down? <laughs> Once Chie gets tired of complaining and hangs up, my fears and exhaustion are blown away. I don't know what's going on yet, but I'm gonna find out. Then I'll crush whoever's behind this. Junus is crowded as hell thanks to Golden Week. I see some employees whispering to each other and looking at me, but I pretend not to notice. I run into you before everyone else. Thankfully, he doesn't bring up the nurse thing again, and instead he talks about the welcoming party he had with uh, Nanako. Maybe there's a little truth to that sister complex line, huh? As we step into the food cart, God, I hope not. Chie and Yukio are both sitting at the usual spots. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back. Um, should we... Huh? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Both of them sounded happy. Neither of them show this I'm totally depending on you attitude toward me. What's up with that? Hey, Yosuke, why the long face? He's jealous. Shut up. It's a man thing. You gotta <laughs> deal with it. You sound so sad. Oh, is it about your guidance counseling paper? The teacher asked me to tell you that you need to hurry and turn yours in. Huh? You haven't turned that in yet? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> shut up, shut up! That's not it. <clears throat> Seeing you take a seat, I clear my throat to grab their attention. All right, let's start this. Well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! <laughs> Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! 
Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. It's necessary, Yosuke. I mean, it's pretty exciting, but the reason we're reforming the team is because there's another case to solve. I look to, to you for some support, but he's clapping along with the rest of them. At <sighs> 2 uh, Narukumi? Kami? Anyway, seeing them all open to the idea takes some of the tension out of the situation. Let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotokun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. That's nice of you, but also, like, she is kind of really good at solving mysteries, so probably would have just told her. I mean, I know she's gonna be there anyways, but still. Now there was another investigation team member. Uh, she was the last to join, and she's one year below us in school. Even though she's a student, she's also a detective, and the cops rely on her for tough cases. Nato helped out a lot during last year's incident. She's incredibly skilled, but that also makes her really busy. Even after the events of last year, she's been running around. She's try she tried to get an opening in our schedule for today, but I guess it didn't work out. Um, one thing's been bothering me. The picture on the TV was very clear last night. Yeah. Going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? <laughs> Both Chia and Yukio get angry, saying it's a fake, but the pictures of them are on the Midnight Channel were pretty accurate, if you ask me. Of course, I'd never admit it. Hell no. I do value my life, you know. What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I agree there. We don't have much choice but to ask Teddy why he's doing this. Which means... We'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. That's smart. That should have been something they did last year. I didn't think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Like Kanji. Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Kanji. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate them. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. The host, Teddy, has disappeared, but he isn't the only one missing. Kanji was listed as one of the participants, and Rise wasn't even mentioned on the TV. We're just gonna have to jump in the TV and investigate. You gives the order. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. You all just carry your weapons truth, around? I had a hunch that this was going to happen. I had already lugged out all my weapons and junk today. Yeah, I guess so. With the intention of going into the TV. It'll be my first time in the TV world in a while. It's the first time I've done anything out of the ordinary in a while. This is serious business, but I can't help but get excited about this. You know what I mean? The days when we ran around town as the investigation team. I mean, it wasn't all fun and games. There were plenty of hardships and sad times. But I learned a lot of important stuff because of them. It changed me. I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. So it makes me wonder. What about this time? Is something like that waiting for me? Something something that's going to change me? Maybe? What am I thinking? I shake my head and focus on the task at hand. We don't know what lurks inside the TV. Neg negligence could mean death. I'll leave the food court with the rest of the investigation team. Ladies first. Mm. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. Huh. I feel like things are picking up around town. Mm. Oh, I want one of those chairs. You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. Oh, don't worry about it. Huh? The customers are going away. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> That's gotta feel weird. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you should have went one at a time instead of hunching in like that. Isn't this different from usual? Oh no! What Very do we do? bright. What can we do? We can't stop now. And they all died. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.